is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for 100 miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> We've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again? Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Let's not wait till tomorrow morning. Let's sign in and go straight there. We're not going anywhere if no one checks us in. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine.
wish I could buy them both. Oh, pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> He sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Perhaps. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. This place is fit for a king. Or my queen. <sighs> oh, you. Kiss this. Uh, that is not very wifely of you. <clears throat> hey! Ah! Bullseye! You asked for it. <clears throat> <laughs> Should I be frightened? <clears throat> if you're smart. <laughs> mercy, mercy. Okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. 
Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. Did I forget to pack my razor? It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. <laughs> don't you worry. Better not. Hmm. I could have sworn this was the way we came up. Done. Calm yourself, sir. I've seen your wife has had an accident. Is there a problem, sir? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
place for everything, everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. Uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obols. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. 
Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on the good accounts of the uh, 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 and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, had a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've done a key grip and lighting test for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnett, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was. Hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but as investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m., be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation <laughs> is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? 
Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave them behind it. Oh, you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. It's going to be great, guys. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that could affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Due to Sir Rich, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great, and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. This is taking too long. Hey, guys, hurry up. 
Hurry up. We're on it. Jesus, that is loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... So much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for the shot, right? Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess we do. a lot of lives lost. Rap, I'd like to take a couple of weeks out, go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours. I got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on that. You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. <laughs> Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to the job. What the hell is that thing? A dummy. Dummy? Well, yeah, but what is it doing here? Taking a vacation. Yeah, just looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly... We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game.
end of the road. Guess that counted as big news a century ago. This looks pretty old. What's that? Just some old coin. Find the penny, pick it up. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Nice to meet you, too. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes. And six gallons of sanitizer. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> some hobby. Ugh, look at this. It's all wired up. See that? What? It moved. What moved?
gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, there's our ride. Come on, we better get back. Got him? I don't know. We just had the one call. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that... Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. I'm not exactly dressed for a hike, Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talk into camera, then I'll direct you from there, OK? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lonnet Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go. Aaron? It sounds clear. OK, let's go for a technique. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island, which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and start to walk. OK, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously.
Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Ow! Oh my! Damn it! What happened? You okay? Ah. Did you trip over your ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh my! I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. OK. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. ask you something and get a straight answer, you know, you know, you making a smart-ass reply or taking a shot at me. That works both ways. Fine. Look, tell me the truth. Is there any saving this show? Maybe. If there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here. You think that's likely? No. At best, we'll get some nice B-roll. That's not gonna save our asses. could have told us to dress for a trek. Don't look down. I got it. Relax.
you live out here on this island? Shh. Get down with your family. My wife is. She died. <laughs> Mr. Dumet, is this an actual palm tree? Was this shipped into the island? I. I don't think so. What about over there? <laughs> well, that's gross. for a new place. Not sure I can afford the rent on this one. Wonderful natural light, though. wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. Reminds me of shit summer camps. Okay, if I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. You see the control panel? It's trashed. I don't even think there's power.
Maybe we can get this thing working.